pretty much. You see, that's why you don't want to go in planks. Look at that. All it takes is a little knot for it to crack open. Crack open. Look at it. Look at how look how damaged it is. So we're just gonna go right over it. Call it good. There's a big gap right here, and what happens is if your shingle, your nail line, you put a shingle here. See your, your nails are. This is where you're supposed to nail. And if it ever lands right here, the shingle is not getting grabbed by anything. It's going to go through the hole. The exposure line. See, it's about. You see, you have a little bit, probably like about an inch of play. It's about six. Now this is a 12 or 11. <laughs> or 12 inch nominal size is one by 12. What happens is when you're putting on shingles, it'll it'll go into these seams, and we don't want that. So what we're doing here is we're putting OSB over existing. Or you can see back here. I'm not gonna go into a seam or anything like that. Now the concern is that maybe you're adding a little bit more weight onto your roof. This roof had a, two layers of shingles and a roofing square is about three plywoods. So you're looking at 210. So you're not really adding that much weight if you add two layers on, on your roof. It's always better to just go over these planks. Whenever we see planks, we always uh, include doing an overlay of plywood and it's always the best way to go. But not, once you have plywood, you stagger your, you stagger your seams, you nail on the rafter. Question is this, how old are, are these roofs that have planks on them? Uh, usually. usually. Usually they were built in like the 60s. Very common in other areas. We're out here in California, uh, San Diego County. Uh, you don't really see that many unless it's like an old neighborhood. Uh, but mostly new houses, it's always always OSB plywood. Now the reason why we're choosing OSB plywood does a lot better with expanding and contracting when it gets hot or when it gets cold and it doesn't warp as opposed to plywood. And if you can look right here, they're all, it's layered in plies. Now the problem with this is with heat, it'll start to warp. If you want to leave it out in the sun for a little bit, you guys could see that it'll warp and it'll stay like that. And with OSB, it doesn't, it doesn't warp at all. It'll expand and contract because it's, there's so many pieces that are glued together that you won't have that problem. That's why sometimes you'll see dips in some houses and it's because they're putting on CDX plywood.